Hey everybody, welcome back to Elizabeth Journals. I'm Elizabeth and today we will be walking through Carly's notebook. Her custom bullet journal is made in this navy blue. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the blue of it, but it's a dark blue, uh, Lutrum 1917. Her theme was magnolias and bees or honeycomb. So I went a little ham with the title page compared to usual. She didn't request anything specific. So I did a bit of honeycomb with a bee flying around and a magnolia in a light gray with some yellow detailing, even though magnolias are mostly white. I wanted to kind of add to it. And then it says Carly Aaron 2020. Next, she wanted a 2020 year at a glance. She wanted it one page style. So she kind of gave me a little bit of creative freedom. So I did some print uh, subheaders in this one highlighted in yellow because yellow is difficult to see and that is the color she wanted um, was like a yellow light yellow um, and then the main header is 2020 at a glance next she has a movies to watch and books to read page that are paired next to each other instead of their own separate entities the movies to watch is in a film strip style and the books to read is a bookshelf style with yellow shelves both headers are in brush lettering Next, she wanted a My Favorite Quotes page. Uh, she didn't specify anything, and usually when this happens, I just head up a layout. So I did three different fonts, two colors, black and yellow. And then the bottom left is some watercolor honeycombs. Next, she sent me an image of a specific bills layout she wanted. So I modified it to fit 12 months instead of the six, or maybe it was four, that the page was. And it was a one page layout, and I uh, created it big enough and it fit in two pages. There are uh, several columns, bills, due date, amount, auto pay, and then a section for each month to color in the spot in which she paid. Next she wanted a bucket list. She didn't specify seasonal bucket lists or anything like that, so I did one bucket list with a little magnolia in the bottom left. The header is in brushed yellow. Then she requested a birthdays tracker. Again, was uh, sent me a image to go off of so I followed this image with the yellow header and I tried my best to mimic the coloring in the layout as well for each cupcake. Then she wanted a home improvement and projects tracker. On the left is just a simple header home projects completed and the page is blank. Then on the right is home improvement projects with a house configuration with various sections for her to write stuff down in. I left this blank for her to fill in. Then we move into each monthly layout. Each month is a simple grid with yellow vertical header up the right side in yellow brush lettering. So I did a little bit of a mixing and I did every other month had a yellow header and every other month had a black header. Just kind of mixed it up. I did the same with magnolias versus bee slash honeycomb. I started with magnolias, just a little bud in the bottom left corner and each month will be different. Then she requested the weekly log layout, which is left mostly blank with the brush letter header in the top of the left page. And this one is in yellow and then a little mini calendar in the top left corner of the right page. I have the current week. This is for highlighted as well as the, as well as the days of the week. Usually I would write the days of the week in yellow for this one, but yellow is difficult to see when written small like that. So I instead highlighted it. And that is the bulk of this notebook. I'm going to flip through so that you can see it. However, I will pipe in to kind of explain each monthly doodle. For February, I did some simple honeycombs that kind of go behind the main header, which is in black. I like the look of this. For March, I did a couple of bees kind of buzzing around on the left page as not to distract from the yellow brush lettered heading on the right side of the page. Next is April with a little magnolia. Instead of it just being a bud, this time the flower is beginning to open up. Again, you'll have to forgive my cats if they make an appearance in this video. I know they've made an appearance in a couple of them, but they just finished eating and are now wandering around. For May, I did some more honeycombs in the left side and right side of the header area. 
The honeycombs I tended to do in a bright yellow, whereas the magnolias I tried to stay white because magnolias are mainly white with some shading in yellow if I felt necessary. For June, there are two magnolias, one that is fully opened and one that is still opening um, on the bottom left and right corners. I'm not even sure if the camera will be able to pick up the lightness of the yellow in the flowers. For July, I did a bee over on the right side with the header. These bees aren't meant to be any specific kind of bee. Carly didn't specify. They're just a generic bee doodle. To me, they look kind of like bumblebees, but I don't know much about bees. For August, I did another little bud that's closed up. For September, there is more honeycomb hexagons in the upper left-hand corner. Next for October is a magnolia just next to the header. For November, there are a couple of honeycombs over by the header. And then finally, December is magnolias. There's a bud and then an opening bud. So that was Carly's custom made, hand drawn, bullet journal inspired planner. If you'd like to order something similar to this one for yourself or for a loved one, there's a link in the description. If you'd like something different, feel free to contact me. Again, a link in the description. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, subscribe. See you next time.